I hereby announce the Honorable Member Andrek <laughs> Banyaza Lusufi as a duly elected Premier for the, Houten, for the province of Houten. <laughs> Honorable Premier, kindly do proceed and make your acceptance speech. Chief Whip, Mzigaifani Kumalo, our Premier, David Makura, <laughs> Deputy Church President, Church A.P. Lidwaba, Ministers and Deputy Ministers that are present. I've seen Minister Enoch Kondongwan, I've seen Minister Njimo Tsekha. I've seen Deputy Minister Zizi Kota and other ministers that are here. Members of the Executive Council, Executive Mayors present, members of the National Executive Committee of the African National Congress. I've seen Member Takota here and other members of the NEC that are here our alliance partners, our provincial secretary, Comrade T.K. Lionel Nguiza. <laughs> Leaders of other political parties present here, members of the provincial legislature, your excellencies, members of the diplomatic corps, distinguished guests, members of the media, the people of Gauti. As long as our townships are still the way they are, our freedom has not arrived. As long as we still have informal settlements, we have not accomplished our tasks. As long as we still have dirty and smelly hostels, we have not achieved our goals. As long as our people in rural areas struggle to get water, then our mission for a better free South Africa must continue. When young people qualified, yet they remain unemployed, we should then double our efforts for the true economic growth of our province. So today's occasion is not something to celebrate, but a reminder that we must serve with integrity, humility, and dignity. We should forever remain sensitive to the imperatives of our constitution to conduct ourselves with probity and always act in the best interest of the people of this province. 
Madam Speaker, I refuse to accept that all of us came here to elect one person to be the Premier of our province. What we have done was the election of 16 million people of Gauteng to be the Premier, not me. In my home language, they declare, and I quote, Muno Anaute Autopitor, or beautifully captured in Chivenda when they declare Munemuti Autusi Matot. It takes all of us to pick ourselves up. Our citizens are confronted with many challenges, but we must remain firm to defend, shield, but most importantly, serve them. Today, honorable members, is not a day of species, but to acknowledge and appreciate the vote of confidence bestowed on all of us to lead our province together. I want to take this opportunity to affirm one thing, that I'm just a last servant that must conclude the last part of our administration that was led by our dynamic former Premier, David Makura. <laughs> the growing Houghton 2030, which is our current provincial plan of action, was introduced to cement and position ourselves nationally so that we can seize the opportunity to make Houghton economy workable. Houghton, growing Houghton together remains a blueprint that we must continue to implement even beyond the era of Comrade David Makura. This blueprint was not David Makura's blueprint. It was our blueprint and we are proud to take it forward, Comrade David Makura. It's a blueprint that one, a growing province, it's a blueprint that want a housing that should be better by 2030. It's the one that want to encourage growth in terms of economy, jobs, and infrastructure. One that encourages skills revolution in education and health. One that calls for integrated human settlement and land release. One that calls for safety, social cohesion, and food security. One that calls for a capable, ethical, and developmental leadership. It also calls for a better Africa and the world and the need to have a sustainable development for future generations. This is our plan. And this is the plan that will continue to implement. We are just going to re-elect the new leaders that will be part of the Executive Council and will go to our retreat. And on the basis of that, we'll come to account to the people of Gauteng how we want to make Gauteng better. As I have earlier indicated, today is not the day of species. I just want to state this. I'm taking over the reins from one of the humblest servants of our province. I wish to express my deepest gratitude to Premier David Makura, on whose executive I had the privilege to serve for the last eight years of his premiership. If you allow me to address him as Premier one last time, I wish to state that Premier Makura led from the front and remain a hard act to follow. The masses of our people across the length and breadth of our province can attest to the impact he made on their lives in various ways during the years that he was at the helm of our province. I want to put, put it on record that Premier Makura has been the driving force behind this change of leadership in our province. He initiated this change, and he confirmed the saying when people say a good dancer knows when to leave the stage. <laughs> Premier Makura, we thank you for your ethical leadership showing a high work ethic 
and dedicating ourselves to the improvement of the lives of our people. Our province will remain indebted to you. Madam Speaker, let me also thank members of the Executive Council who have been my colleagues in both the fifth and sixth administrations of this province. We worked together very well under the visionary leadership of Premier Makura, and there is no reason that we cannot continue in that spirit. Madam Speaker, as I have indicated, today is not the day of speeches. We will come back to this House to outline our plans on literally everything the people of Gauteng want us to tackle. There will be no holy cows. And I'm proud that the Minister of Finance is in this House. Me and him, we are about to sign the most important agreements on critical things that need to happen in our province. <laughs> Honorable members, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a product of education and student struggles. When I joined the then Bent Congress of South African Students through the Tembisa Student Congress, I never knew it will be the beginning of things to come. I'm what I am because of the relentless struggles for a better quality education. Today marks the end of my lifelong partnership with the education sector, a pain I can't hide. I want to thank those that identified me, sharpened me, supported me, when I never thought that I'll be, part for this, I'll be part of those that will fight for the struggle for quality education. I want to name the late Amon Msani, Patricia Maloka, Dr. Khwati Tindeza, but a special thanks is reserved to my mother, my mentor, and a person who guided me through my life, Minister Njimutseha and the Mutseha My sincere gratitude to the HOD of the department, Edward Musue, management and staff of the department, SGBs, teacher formations, learner formation, and all education partners. I'm truly sorry. I also want to thank members of the Education Portfolio Committee, starting with the former chair of the committee, Honorable John P.C., and the current chair, Honorable Matume Kopano Chiluam. If there is a model members of this particular house they must learn from, a model of mutual respect, a model of answering questions when you are asked, a model of respecting that we come from different political parties, that model is the relationship that I had with member Ramulifo, Kume Ramulifo. We worked together, and I hope this relationship will continue. You did what you expected to do. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm nothing without the movement of the people, the African National Congress. This is the movement of the people by the people. Thank you so much for assigning me to be an instrument of change, an instrument of liberation. To the NCPEC, we have once more demonstrated that our unity agenda in that PEC is solid and unshakable. For you to unanimously present my name, represent and honor, I will never ever take it for granted. After the establishment of the new members of the Executive Council tomorrow afternoon, we'll go out for our Lekhotla, and when we come back, we'll indeed outline our plans, our programs, and our desire to service and work for our people in our province. 
I want to conclude by quoting R. Medoc when he says, and I quote, the world is changing fast. Big will no longer beat small anymore. It will be the fast beating the slow, end quote. So we need to move faster to be ahead of everything. To the people of Gauteng, let's get the job done. Let's grow Gauteng together. I thank you.